Sometimes you're out taking photos using a couple of cameras and you realize one of them is set to the wrong time, or maybe both, and that can be a real pain for editing. So in Adobe Lightroom, you can fix that quite easily. First, just select your first photo and go check what the timestamp on it is down here. That'll hopefully be your correct one, or maybe not. Then you can go check one of your others. Uh, so I'm going to click on this one here. And you can check your timestamp there, and you can see that that one is out by two hours. So it's two hours different to the first one. So I want to go to my filters, and I want to filter by camera info. Now that will let me select a heap of different options to determine which photos I want. Now I'm going to choose the Canon EOS 500D because I know that they're the photos that are out by two hours. So that's going to give me all the photos that were taken using that camera. Now all I have to do is select all of my photos that meet that criteria. So obviously I've filtered by them all, now it's just a matter of selecting all, so Command A on a Mac or Control A on Windows. Now that I've selected them all, I want to come down to my little capture time here and you'll see you've got this little icon off to the right of it. If you click on that, it'll pop up your little edit capture time window and you can edit it in three different ways. Adjusting it to a specified date and time, shifting it by a set number of hours, it's a time zone, or you can use change to file creation date. Now I'm going to use shift by set number of hours first to show you what it does because mine's out by exactly two hours. Now I can select minus two and you'll see here on the example it's given me from the first photo if it takes off two hours that's what the corrected time would be. I can also use the adjust to a specified date and time. Now this is particularly useful if I had a, was out by a half hour or something like that. Now, I can just change it to the time I want the first one to be. So in this case I'd change it to, to two. Uh, the hours, but I could also change it to 2.24 uh, and that would give me a half hour increment as well. So that gives you a lot more flexibility and it will look at the difference between the original and the corrected time for your first photo and we'll go through and apply that for all of your photos. Then click change all and it will go through and will process all of the photos that you had selected and change them by the defined number of hours. So now if you click on one you'll see it's got a new time if we turn off our filters and just view all of our photos now, we can see that they're closer in to where they should be in the group. So you can see we've got some of our photos that had the correct time and their timestamp. And then you can also see some of the new photos mixed in with it and their timestamp. And so now we've got our photos more or less in the correct order. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to like it and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this from me.